買ってるんですけど一般の方々に100に近いんですかあの At the beginning of 2020, when the COVID 19 has started to spread in Japan, I have established a young research team specialized in data science. And not only public health and epidemiology, but also the statistics and the data management. We use the social media data to support local government response to COVID 19. And we also evaluate the vaccination policy and also. Assess the impact of some behavior restrictions. I'm Shuhei Nomura. My interest in health data comes from my experience in countries outside Japan. When I was an undergrad student, I, I went to some countries like India, Nepal, Kosovo,、uh, Uganda, and South Africa, and other countries. And then I, I was doing an internship at hospitals or the facilities for children with disabilities and refugee camps. And then I realized that health is an issue for all the people, everyone, everywhere. My major work includes the generation of evidence and the guidance of health policy, including like Japan's national health promotion strategy and global health policy. By working with GBD as a tool, I am able to clearly explain. Especially to, to the, the national politicians, also the government officials. What are the major health issues in Japan and what attention should be paid to which disease outcome in the future? My activities after the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster in 2011 include、uh, supporting the local hospitals and the municipalities. I did、uh, some research work to, to, to monitor and evaluate the health status of the people affected by the disaster. My experience working with the local people facing with the real challenges helped me develop a practical perspective on my research work. Based on this experience, I have realized that the research on health and also life and security. Is, is nothing more than a desk theory unless we clearly understand the real issue and the challenges and also to evaluate them scientifically and bring back the research outcomes to, to the society. I often use GBD to investigate health disparities within Japan at sub national level, I mean prefectures. The local government is very interested in why health disparities exist. And also want to learn from other prefectures what is a good practice. Japan has a national health promotion strategy and it will be revised soon. It focuses on like, what are the major issue, health issues in Japan and what kind of risk factors should be focused on. I have been participating in the generation of evidence to inform that revision. For example, I'm using GBD. To know what kind of health issue exists in Japan, like the, in the ranking, what kind of disease has the highest burden in Japan, like mortality, d i a r i e s and others, and also what kind of risk factors should be focused on in the near future. Disability accounts for really the largest share of disease burden in Japan, I mean the health loss. And also, about 80% of disease burden in Japan are explained, explained by. Non communicable diseases. And the major risk factor in Japan include tobacco smoking. And other important risk factors include metabolic one, like hypertension or cholesterol and or high BMI and obesity. The Japanese government is now formulating a new global health strategy. And I am participating in this strategy creation by generating evidence to inform that. I am doing analyzing how official development assistance for health can be allocated equitably, also efficiently, to, to the low and middle income countries. For my future career, I want to become a generalist who has the deep knowledge and expertise in data science, but also who can be more involved in the policy making. Including agenda setting, also the policy creation. I strongly feel that we need a more person who can do both quantitative research and policy analysis. In other words, 
that those who can bridge research and policy.